VMware Workstation Pro 17 is free for personal use, according to this post that we have on the VMware blog. So if you scroll down a little bit down over here, um, just letting you know that you want to select the free personal use one. We're going to go ahead and go over to the download link, which we're going to have to create an account and sign into Broadcom. So go ahead and click on that. It's going to redirect us to the Broadcom website. Now you have to make sure that you have an account on this Broadcom website in order to access this download page. So you want to make sure that you create an account and then sign in and then only then will you be able to access this page. So I've already created my account. I'm over here on the downloads page where it directed me to. I want to make sure that I select VMware Workstation Pro for personal use Windows. So I'm selecting that and uh, you can go ahead and download the latest version that we have over here, which is VMware Workstation Pro 17.6.1. Click on that link and it's going to bring us over here. And this is the cloud download page. You want to make sure that you select the I agree to the terms and services. If you want to read them, you can click on this and it'll take you over to that page. And then once you've checked that box, this is now active. We can go ahead and click on the download link. The total size of it is 448 megs. We'll go ahead and launch it. I'm just going to minimize my browser here. We'll say yes to the prompt and we get the installation wizard. So we're going to go ahead and click on next. You can read through the agreement and then check I accept and then click on next. If you don't like the default path, you can click on change and select your own folder and uh, add VM workstation console tools to the system path. This is optional, but I'm gonna leave it selected and click on next. And then we have the option to automatically check for updates. And this is optional. You don't have to have this selected, but it helps them improve the software. Go ahead and click on next. And then we have some options for shortcuts to the desktop in your start menu, click on next and then click on install. Won't take too long to get this installed. We'll jump over to the next step. Okay, the installation is now complete. You can see I have a shortcut over here on my desktop and then we can click on the finish button. We can go ahead and just double click on the icon and it's gonna launch the software. So I already had this installed and it's letting me know that the subscription license has expired. We can continue to use Workstation Pro licensed for personal use and that's exactly what we have right over here. From this point on, you can create a new virtual machine and you can follow the steps through it. If you're looking for guides on how to install different operating systems inside VMware Workstation Pro, check out the channel. I have a lot of different guides listed in there. I'll make sure I link some down below in the description as well. And that's all there is to it. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching. I'll catch you on the next one.